How winners spend their money. If you won the lottery, what would you do with the money? It's a hypothetical question posed by everyone who's fantasized about winning a large sum of money. Winning the lottery can open up a world of possibilities for the winners. But on the other hand, things can go horribly wrong. In fact, many lottery winners end up squandering their winnings. Ever wondered how these lucky winners spend their pot of gold? Today's video is all about how winners spend their money, so stay tuned. Number 10. Richard Lustig Richard Lustig is renowned as the lottery's uncrowned king because he's won seven times. He's got a monetary award of millions of dollars, but the story doesn't end there. Richard Lustig is already a household name thanks to his numerous victories, and he capitalized on it. He claimed to have discovered the lotto-winning formula. He published a book and sold each copy for $40. It wasn't difficult for him to persuade people that he had a unique strategy based on his number of victories. His book unsurprisingly became a bestseller. He became significantly wealthier as a result of his lotto victory. That alone earned him all the respect and money he needs. This next guy is what you'd call the classic rugs to riches story. Okay, rugs you a relative, but it does kind of describe the guy's story. Anyhow, we'll let you be the judge. Number 9. Terry Pollard Pollard went from living in group homes and couch surfing to earning a degree and starting his own company. Pollard claimed he'd summoned the confidence one day to come into Daymar College and complete his degree. He chose massage treatment and took advantage of the opportunity. Pollard would stop at a nearby food store on a typical morning to clear his brain before a hectic day. With his clients and three children keeping him very busy, the stops at the gas station were much needed. He awoke on Friday and went about his business as usual. He had no idea that spending the final $25 in his pocket and purchasing the last five tickets from the machine would transform his life. Pollard was speechless when he realized he'd won, but he claims he knew exactly what he would do with the money. His ultimate goal was to transform his company into a full-service spa. Pollard launched his own company, Serene Relief Wellness, and couldn't wait to expand it so he could give jobs to others. Pollard's story should tug at your heartstrings. Number 8. Cynthia Stafford Cynthia Stafford, a 53-year-old California native, was ecstatic but not surprised when she won $112 million in the 2007 California Mega Millions jackpot. Cynthia, who used to play the lottery two to three times a month before her win, said she'd been working on winning for so long that it didn't feel random when it eventually happened. It felt like she made it happen. Her strategy, she explained, was to visualize winning each time she bought a ticket, selecting whatever random numbers came to mind first. The former software account executive said that she'd predicted that she would win exactly $112 million long before buying her golden ticket and even researched financial advisors and lawyers in preparation. When asked if she has aspirations to win again, she revealed that she still buys weekly lottery tickets, saying it was chump change, only a couple of dollars. You might be wondering, what would happen if I gave a teenager an obnoxiously large amount of money? Well, strap in and find out. Number 7. Callie Rogers Callie Rogers is the youngest lottery winner in the United Kingdom's history. When she won the lotto jackpot, she was only 16 years old and living in foster care. She quit her 360 an hour job as a co-op checkout worker right away and began spending the money. So when did Callie Rogers win the lottery, how much did she win, and what did she do with the money? In 2003, Callie won slightly about 1.9 million British pounds. Callie spent 11,500 on two boob jobs, 300,000 on clothes, makeup, and tattoos, 85,000 on top of the range sports cars, and 250,000 on cocaine. Callie also spent a further 250,000 on vacations to Mexico and Euro Disney, 118,000 on gifts to past lovers, 190,000 on unpaid loans to friends and family members, and over 50,000 on legal bills. Kelly claims she was too young to win such a large sum of cash, landing her in a heap of trouble. She went on to say that it was an excessive amount of money for someone so young. She claims to be happier now that she has a regular existence. Yeah, right. We know it hurts, really hurts, Callie. So was this next guy any wiser? Before we get to that, how about you hit that subscribe button to increase your chances of winning the mega jackpot? Number 6. Roy Gibney 
In 1988, Roy Gibney received 7,500,000 British pounds. He lived off the lotto money for almost 14 years before becoming bored. But he was savvy enough to not spend the entire sum. Roy splurged on the Brambles, a six-bedroom home in Barnold B. Lebec. The former sheet metal worker built a 50-foot swimming pool on the 25-acre property, which included a fishing lake. His lucky digits, 12, 13, 21, 23, 33, and 36, as well as the lucky date, July 8th, are carved in tiles on the bottom. He put the rest of it into real estate, both locally and internationally. He'd also seen the growth of the metal sheet sector and decided to take a chance. It was a profitable investment. Rob now revealed that the majority of his 7.5 million windfall is gone, and he couldn't be happier. Roy sold his mansion in Barnold B. Lebec and is renovating a five-bed semi-detached in the town. And following a tumultuous divorce, in which he claims he lost a 350,000-pound Scottish home, a car, and 50,000 pounds in cash, he's reconnected with an old flame. Tracy Baker, a teaching assistant, who initially he met in 2004. They reconnected when she heard Roy was returning to Grimsby. Despite his significantly lower money account, the lottery winner claims he's happier than ever. He's even driving the same Lexus that he purchased with his prize money in 1998. Number 5. Brian Moss Not a jackpot win, but this Meridian man started the new year off right. Just at the start of a new year, Brian Moss was the latest big lottery winner in Idaho. Brian Moss is someone who has a positive outlook towards life, and today he has an additional 250,000 reasons to be happy. Moss plays the Idaho Lottery regularly and does so because he knows it benefits Idaho schools. What a sweetheart! We bet he's played for other great reasons, too. What makes this probably the strangest case on this list is the fact that this is the sixth time that Moss has won a large prize from the Idaho Lottery. Number 4. John and Lisa Robinson John and Lisa Robinson upgraded to a multi-million dollar property with a home theater and a private lake after winning the Powerball. They've stayed out of the news except for the notable mansion. On January 13, 2016, John and Lisa Robinson were the lucky winners of a share of the $1.58 billion Powerball prize. The Robinsons, like the other two winners, elected to collect their windfall in one single sum, receiving $327.8 million before taxes. The couple decided to keep their humble Munford, Tennessee house despite their unexpected wealth. Lisa, on the other hand, stated that she intended to continue working. The Robinsons live in a $6.2 million 10-bedroom mansion years after their huge win. Their magnificent property, which sits on a 320-acre lot and features a private lake and some of Tennessee's best views. It also includes eight bathrooms and a well-equipped home theater. So much for living in a little house. When Lisa returned to work the next day after they won the lottery, she claims to have been treated poorly. As a result, it's no wonder that the Robisons stay to themselves and request seclusion. Who could blame them after all? They're undoubtedly sick of strangers and that one lost long relative begging for money. Number 3. Robert Bailey Robert Bailey appears to have maintained his aim of being prudent with his newly acquired fortune. There's been very little information regarding his current situation, which is usually a good indicator in the world of lottery winners. Robert Bailey of New York won half of the $687.8 million Powerball jackpot on October 27, 2018. After federal and state taxes, he took home over $125 million. Bailey announced in a news conference after accepting his award that he'd recruited a lawyer and a financial advisor to help him navigate his new life as a millionaire. Bailey claimed that the lucky combination he utilized to win the jackpot had been one he'd been playing for over 25 years. He then stated that even after his massive windfall, he would continue to play the same numbers. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in our future video. Number 2. A. Campbell Some lottery winners go to great measures to maintain their anonymity, and one lucky winner just took it to a terrifying new level. A winner of the Super Lotto in Jamaica donned a mask from the 1996 horror film Scream to collect their grand prize. 
The winner, named only as A. Campbell, appeared at the Spanish Court Hotel in Kingston to pick up their huge check, wearing a white ghostly mask. Campbell accepted the $158 million prize without ever revealing his identity. That's not the only mysterious thing about this winner. He waited 54 days before coming forward to claim his win. Campbell became ill after learning he'd won the lottery. He supposedly suffered from migraines for three days as a result of his overthinking. I'm starting to wonder if this guy ever wanted the money in the first place. The veiled winner didn't provide much personal information, other than the fact that he planned to put the money toward a property. Campbell isn't the first Super Lotto winner to keep their identity hidden. A woman who won $180 million in Jamaican money hid her identity by wearing a smiling emoji face mask. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! And number 1, Michael Carroll. Some lottery winners lose the majority, if not all of their money, whether through their own fault or not. Here's one real-life example of someone who I'm sure, till now, lies in their bed awake with regret. In November 2002, Michael Carroll was the lucky winner of the nearly 10 million British pound UK National Lottery Prize. At the time, he was only 19 years old. Carroll stated shortly after his victory that he wouldn't be tempted to spend his winnings extravagantly and that he preferred to live a simple life. Regrettably, things didn't process as planned for him. Carroll squandered the majority of his earnings on houses, vehicles, prostitutes, drugs, and even his own makeshift demolition derby. It wasn't the wisest decision, and by 2006, he was said to be practically bankrupt. Carroll returned to the workforce in 2010 after squandering his own small wealth and applied for his former position. He claims he has no regrets about how he spent his earnings. So, if you won the jackpot today, how would you spend your massive fortune? Let us know in the comment section down below.